Alright folks, welcome back once again to Let's Play Lennox 2 on the Mysterious JG. Grog, ouch, my body. Why, how can I lose to fur? Serenata, Serenata, help me. Help me. Gr Was it going to be a Granada? Was it going to be a Gra? Well, the world may never know. See a seal on the pedestal? Do I want to take it? Sure. First put in his tool bag. First seal is acquired. What about, uh... Pollock, didn't he take it, really? He's one of those pesky items that's taking up so much space in our inventory. Yeah, Ferris takes over as the lead of the party whenever we use that item. That's neat. And I just want to see if there's anything up in this here that we didn't explore. And there wasn't. So that was a totally linear dungeon. I'm fine with that. So I'm kind of, at this point, anxious to get get on with the plot and see more. I mean, throwing out another group of four dungeons and four generic bosses was kind of annoying to me at this point. And I don't remember now if they're the same boss names that we saw before of the guys who appeared as a group of four and kidnapped uh, Ray Chesney. I mean, um, Potente Petro. Let's see if these guys have anything different to say now that I've defeated the guy that they hate so much. So, Ragan, please don't break things anymore. Oh, are you a friend of Belmont? No, he's... Dude, I just took him out. Alright, so their dialogue hasn't changed, it seems. Let's see if the mayor's... Mayor McCheese may have something new to say. Or he might not. Let's find out. Looks like you've killed Belmod. Excellent, you must be a good friend of Chesney's. Never met the chap, unless he's Potentate Petro, which I'm not clear on. At this point, I'm leading towards Potentate Petro as Chesney. But, um, now it seems too obvious. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Let's pay a little visit to, uh, a good friend, Daphne. This is Daphne's house. I'm robot building doctor guy. First of all, I must recover the seals from Balmod, Bejold, and Buzu. Balmod is a plant monster that makes him vulnerable to fire spells, as we found out. Yeah. Look for his castle north of Jaron. Already did that. Bejold bears the attributes of the insects. She must therefore be vulnerable to light. Well, yeah, I can see hill. Huh? I think light was Kekon. So I m might want to go with Kekon stuff for Chesney. Any power and that's all right. Okay. Now there was a cave between Nasquat and Sasquat, which in, in Daphne's area in the last game. And that's probably all that's happening here. And if so, then we're just going to have to backtrack through it again anyway. Cave dragons! Oh, because uh, we'll be trapped in Sasquat with no airship. And it does not appear to me like you can navigate through Sasquat or Nasquat in this game without an airship anymore. Yeah. So let's go back. Because you have an airship almost from the very beginning. Certainly before you get off that first small island. So I'm thinking that, yeah, you're in fact... Probably did not lay out the map in such a way that you can even navigate without an airship down here. I suppose if I got curious, I could always check and see. Crap. Moving my night. We've been out too long and I've been not see. Oh, what's becoming of me? So we pop out of this cave here, and now would we be able to walk to the next town? I guess we could. But is this next town really where we need to go? 
Is it Basuto? May I have the city, USA? Welcome to Tool Shop. What is your pleasure? Okay. You guys got nothing for me to loot. What kind of a store is this? No permanent stat boost items sitting around on shelves waiting to be stolen. When Bejeweled heard about the fabulous bread that Zaran bakes, she sent her servants to fetch some. She should have checked out Abel's bread. Apparently that shit's like better than sex. Greetings, this is the armor shop. You'll never see yourself alive again. We have rows of useless helmets lying around in our armor shop. Swoosh. I wonder if the cats and dogs switched what they say when we came to this world. I wouldn't know. Meow, meow. Um. No. Meow. Looks a little upset. Yes. Meow. Looks a little upset. <laughs> KK. Meow, meow. No. Meow. Looks a little upset. Whatever. I don't understand what's going on here. Sway, swoosh, swoosh. Okay, I really don't get it. Maybe you have to talk to all the animals first and something happens. Maybe nothing happens. They're just messing with you. If you've been to Beige Old's Nest down south, way down in Mexico, way. He already told us just like hot chicks there. In that case, consider this. Unless you know the correct route, it, you may not, you may find it hard, if not impossible, to reach Beige Okay, so you want to tell me what the route is, buddy? No? Fine. Multi Edge Giga Blade. I don't want any of this crap. Hey, they got nunchucks. Captain Morgan spiced rum chucks. Sway. Sway down in Mexico. Way. Okay, so I think they said we need the light spell uh, against insects. So let's take away... What does that lose? That loses skills up, but she's got skills up. Also loses bottle. This is making us lose the gubo spells. I don't really care about them that much. And, uh, fire, light, air. Okay, so you don't have to know the spell names, but they said to use light against the insects. So there we are. We'll give him light power so that he can kick the, uh, insect boss lady's butt. She's like the Queen Bee, which was the second Golgo 13 movie. The first was The Professional, known in Japan simply as Golgo 13, as I found out from Wikipedia. No, I haven't. Tell me. Okay, here's what I know. The Throne of Immortals, a holy site, sits atop the huge mountain in the center of the world. Once, the town of Rukwan existed alongside the mountain, as well as many strange buildings. Then Granada came here and seized the mountain, shut off our access, and constructed an impregnable fortress. That sucks. I wonder what will become of Lenis now. Another town that's just vanished off the map. You guys are bastards. Okay, so this is some kind of special magical store. 
I'm thinking it's a plot store because it doesn't tell us what it sells. We already talked to you. I know of no one quicker. I'll kill monsters with techniques too fast for the naked eyes to see. You don't hesitate. I just like slow people. Get the F out of here. Get out of here with that weak ass shit. It's a dragon horn. This is fine, but I'm Zerat. No one can beat me at baking bread. Created by following Baker Joyce's famous recipe to remove your Nasquad stink. Do you wish to buy some? Oops, all sold out. Sorry, please come again. Okay. Don't know if this is important or if it's just referencing the previous game, but, um... Oh, man, what happened to my uh, dragon thingy? Look at all these musical instruments in my inventory. I don't know what that's about. Ferris just keeps getting smarter and smarter by sucking dragon horns or possibly smoking them or there's a stairs going up that leads to here. Okay. Hey, what's going on? Where did you come from? Did you walk up the stairs that I left right down there where anyone could find them? Oh, never mind. Beige old well, when her servants came calling, someone mentioned red, red, blue, green. The red, red, green show. <laughs> Sounds like some sort of code, huh? If you figure it out, will someone let me in on it? Hmm, that sounds like a gravis. Could be the same as a, a, a... Oh, hmm. That sounds like a gravis. Could be the same as a... A A A X Y on the S N S party member <laughs> could be anyone. Apparently, it's Pollock. <laughs> customer, wow, you guys are making this way too hard. What customer? Just select down, 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 left, up. That should work on the bu command buttons on any type of gamepad. Now the party member. Well, what if? Well, what if all we went along with a lousy keyboard? We're wired or wireless? What difference does that make, sheesh? Certainly the translators have inserted a lot of additional humor into this scene. The humor you have inserted into this scene will cost you your life. Hee <laughs> hee. Huh? I do not want to sit through all that again, so let's get out of here. It's a down, down, left, up. Oh, whatever. We'll figure it out when we get there. This is pseudo. I've already said this. After the big battle between Chesney and Lazegos, Lenos became peaceful once again. But then came those, like, demons. The four angels of the Great Union. I don't like them. Anything special going on in here? And by special, I mean you got loot. Water card was found. Yay. Well done, Pollock. You can always find water cards because you have AP on your back. That makes sense somehow. Okay, so let's assume that we lost our airship because we walked through the cave. Could we actually get to the next location? Yes, we could. Yes, we could. And we could continue to walk all the way down here, and we'd probably get stuck right here. But if you can walk past... Yeah, this is the point at which we'd have to be like, Hey, what the hell? Why don't we have an airship with us? Did we visit this village? Conchudo, is it? No, it's Karen, but we did visit it. Oh, but that's an optional location. So, let's say that you... Miss that because you're silly. You can come here. And that should allow you to get to... Because I don't know what dungeon is associated with this place. Well, I'm not going to worry about it right this minute. The video is almost over. The next thing that we want to do is come to this dungeon. Gotta go through the Bejeweled Cave. We've got Rageosaurs. They've been taking a lot of steroids, I guess. Zip on through this place. I 
Mega Ball? No. I really want another Mega Ball, because then I'll have a complete set for the entire party. Now we're going over 15 minutes, but I think that this cave is pretty short. Is there something hidden over there? No. It's just a really weird looking plant, maybe? This cave belongs to beige old folks. Then we get to this. It, this does look kind of like a hive or a conglomeration of some kind. What do they say? Down, 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 up, left. There are five different colored buttons. Down buttons aren't doing anything. Red, red, blue, green, was it? Yay! So I worked it out. Aren't I clever? When we come back, folks, we're going to go into this hive and look for Bug Lady. The, um, not the mechanist, but the antagonizer. We'll see you then, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.